Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Mark Marquez's crew chief, Frankie Carcady, provides valuable insights into areas of improvement for Marquez at the upcoming MotoGP round at Circuit of the Americas, Coda. Despite promising performances in the first two rounds, there are clear objectives to address for a stronger showing in the upcoming race. Francesco Guidotti, KTM team manager, reflects on KTM's objectives and performance in MotoGP preseason. With a focus on rider satisfaction and championship aspirations, Guidotti discusses KTM's approach to competing with Ducati and highlights the promising potential of riders like Pedro Acosta. Alex Rins reflects on his initial MotoGP races as a factory Yamaha rider, expressing dissatisfaction with his results and highlighting the need for a personalized bike setup to improve performance. Greg Maffey, CEO of Liberty Media, shares his initial thoughts on the future of MotoGP following the company's acquisition of the sport. Maffey emphasizes the importance of growing the fanbase and expanding commercial partnerships without major changes to the sport. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Marquez's crew chief acknowledges the positives from the Portimo weekend but highlights the need to start closer to the front and secure clean air during the race. He emphasizes the difference between race pace and qualifying performance, identifying key challenges faced during the event. The next step is to start closer to the front and get clean air, step by step. Can have the best race pace, however in a race situation it's very different. Frankie Carcady talk. Carcady identifies qualifying struggles as a significant factor impacting Marquez's performance in Portimo. He highlights the need for improved Saturday qualifying runs to avoid repeating the mistakes made during the previous race weekend. QP made it tough. Next step is clear. Frankie Carcady talk by crash. Marquez's crew chief reflects on the impact of Marquez's qualifying crash in Portimo and its implications on race performance. He stresses the importance of learning from past mistakes to ensure a stronger showing in future races. His crash in Portimo qualifying meant that the excellent race pace he later demonstrated could not be used to its full potential. With the upcoming race at Coda, Carcady highlights Marquez's affinity for the circuit and emphasizes the need for focused preparation particularly in qualifying sessions, to capitalize on Marquez's strengths and secure a competitive position on the grid. Coda is one of Marquez's favorite circuits. The upcoming Coda round will have Marquez fans salivating and his critics a little worried. Frankie Carcady posted to social media. Frankie Carcady's insights provide valuable guidance for Marc Marquez as he prepares for the upcoming MotoGP round at Coda. By addressing qualifying challenges, learning from past mistakes, and capitalizing on Marquez's strengths, the team aims to secure a competitive position and maximize performance in the upcoming race. Guidotti emphasizes KTM's goal of winning the MotoGP title, stressing the importance of rider satisfaction and competitiveness. He rejects the notion of being merely the anti-Ducati, and underscores KTM's commitment to developing a bike that enables riders to contend for top positions. We don't want to be the anti-Ducati. We want to make a bike that the riders are happy with and that allows them to fight for the top positions. Francesco Guidotti talk. Guidotti highlights the significance of the bike-rider combination in achieving success in MotoGP. He acknowledges Brad Binder's satisfaction with the bike and identifies areas for improvement for Jack Miller particularly in terms of consistency and mental preparation. Once again it is shown that the bike-rider combination is what makes the difference. In our opinion, he could improve his time management, both mentally and physically. Francesco Guidotti talk by Modasan. Guidotti discusses Pedro Acosta's impressive performance during preseason testing, noting his rapid adaptation to the bike and growing confidence on the track. He draws parallels between Acosta and Marc Marquez, highlighting their shared enjoyment of racing and positive attitudes. 
Knowing things sometimes gives you peace of mind. Pedro is very similar to Mark. Guidotti expresses confidence in Peko Banyaya's championship prospects, attributing his strength and determination as key factors in his success. He acknowledges the impact of Mark Marquez's arrival at Ducati in boosting Banyaya's performance, and expects him to have another impressive season. Marquez's arrival at Ducati has given him that push that will make him have another great season. Last talk by Francesco Guidotti. Francesco Guidotti's insights shed light on KTM's championship aspirations, rider satisfaction, and the potential of emerging talents like Pedro Acosta. With a focus on developing competitive machinery and supporting their riders, KTM aims to challenge Ducati and contend for MotoGP titles in the upcoming season. Rins acknowledges his disappointment with his 16th and 10th place finishes in the Qatar and Portuguese GPs, respectively. Despite securing his first championship points in Portimo, he feels he fell short of expectations and recognizes the need for improvement. These two races have not gone the way that I was expecting. Alex Rins talk. Rins emphasizes the necessity of a more personalized bike setup tailored to his riding style. He notes that previous adjustments focused on replicating Fabio Cordero's setup, but after experiencing similar difficulties in both races, he realizes the need for a different approach. After this race, I realize that I need to do something different on the bike. I need to work a little bit more on our own, Alex Rins said. Rins identifies specific challenges with the front end of the bike, particularly during corner entry and throttle application. He highlights the struggle to maintain lean angle and turn the bike, indicating a need for more weight on the front to improve handling. I was struggling a lot with the front after releasing the brakes and going on the throttle. It looks like we need more weight on the front to make the bike turn. Rins expresses the intention to prioritize setup work during Yamaha's post-race test in Portimo, which was unfortunately cancelled due to rain. He emphasizes the importance of understanding and adjusting to the bike recognizing that there is work to be done to improve performance. Maybe we need to focus on the setup more than the new parts. We need to get used to the bike. We need to understand. But we have work to do. Alex Rins talk by crash. Alex Rins' assessment highlights the challenges he faces as he transitions to the factory Yamaha team and underscores the importance of personalized setup adjustments to improve his performance in future MotoGP races. With a focus on addressing technical issues and refining his riding style, Rins aims to make significant improvements in the upcoming rounds of the championship. Maffei clarifies that MotoGP will not undergo significant alterations under Liberty Media's ownership. He emphasizes the sport's unique appeal and confirms the intention to maintain its essence while broadening its audience and commercial partnerships. MotoGP is an unbelievable product. We are not planning to change this sport, Greg Maffei said. Maffei draws parallels between MotoGP and Formula One, highlighting the importance of fanbase growth in facilitating monetization and attracting commercial partners. He expresses optimism about the potential to enhance MotoGP's appeal to a broader audience. As that excitement grows, as that demand grows, as that audience grows, Everything kind of flows together. Greg Maffei taught. Despite the need for regulatory approval, Maffei expresses confidence in completing the MotoGP acquisition by the end of the year. He contrasts the current situation with CVC's previous ownership, highlighting Liberty Media's preparedness and alignment with the regulatory process. We believe the regulatory process will move quickly and smoothly, but it will take the time they need and this deal will get done. Maffei emphasizes that MotoGP and Formula One are distinct properties and will be treated as such under Liberty Media's ownership. He emphasizes the company's commitment to respecting the unique identity and market positioning of each sport. These are both separate properties. We are not going to treat these as a bundle or to try to bring them together. Greg Maffei talk by crash. Greg Maffei's remarks underscore Liberty Media's approach to MotoGP emphasizing continuity while pursuing growth opportunities. 
As the acquisition progresses through regulatory approval, the company remains focused on preserving the essence of MotoGP while exploring avenues for expansion and commercial success. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.